Okay, the retrieve exercise. Apart from a superb bit of fun for the dog, it's also a little bit of learning that's taking place. A lot of dogs will actually go out towards an article that is thrown. However, they don't always pick it up and they don't always bring it back to our hand. So here comes the training part of it. Um, we can also have a little bit of fun with the retrieve exercise. We can build in a little bit of... Um, control before the actual article is tossed so you can get a nice solid sit throw the article out and then send your dog out to go and get it so that can be a huge reward for the dog as well as um, a little bit of bonding between the dog and the owner there is also something called a formal retrieve it's used in competition standard competition level and basically the article is tossed out, the article is generally a dumbbell, um, it's tossed out, the dog goes out to get it and returns to the front of the handler, he presents it to the handler and the handler finishes the dog to the heel position, so the dog ends up to the side of the handler. However we're just going to concentrate on a, on a retrieve, perhaps with a little bit of behaviour in front of it, so we might get a sit, nice sit stay. Um, here we have Motley, I'm just getting my sit there, so tossing the article out which is a tennis ball, can wait for my behaviour, wait for some eye contact and there's a reward, he goes out to fetch it and he brings it straight back to my hand and the reward for that is another go to run out, so that was the reward in that, that situation. It becomes such a rewarding exercise that the actual exercise itself can become the reward. But how do we train it? We're going to go backwards on that and we're going to start at the very end of the exercise. Okay, we're going to start at the end of the exercise. For this little segment, what you need is a dog's favourite toy and possibly a duplicate. So when you do go out to buy your dog's favourite toy, buy another one. Maybe a different colour, maybe the same colour. But the object of that is so that the dog gives up his favourite toy and guess what? He receives another one. So um, the reward for giving up one toy is to receive another one. That way the dog doesn't hang on to the toy and run off with it. Um, it becomes very, very easy doing it that way. Also, the dog learns to give it to your hand. And how do we do that? Here's a little video of how we do it. And it's called back chaining. Okay, we start from the end of the exercise as I explained makes it easy for the dog because what happens is the dog brings it back to our hand so many times that when we do actually toss it out and we don't toss it out too far to begin with the dog picks it up um, generally that's a behavior that, that occurs although we can work on that if that doesn't happen but if the dog picks it up straight away the training kicks in he sees the owner and sees the hand and the article goes into the hand so it's been repeated and rehearsed so many times that the end of the exercise becomes very easy. The beginning we work on, the end of the exercise becomes the reward and the easy part. So we're just going to do a little demonstration now with Motley. Now what I'm training is, is the cue is going to be out. So when Motley lets go of the article, I'm giving him the cue out. My hand also becomes a cue. And here we go. So I'm asking him to take it and then out. I'm swapping it for another toy. Out. And swapping it for another toy. I'm doing this very, very quickly. And there's a little reward. So he gets the ball. Take it. So constantly I'm swapping between balls there. And Motley's not losing out because he's getting another ball. And I'm literally grabbing it from his mouth initially. And as I'm doing that, I'm saying out, and out becomes the cue for him to drop the article. As soon as he drops it and lets go, he gets the reward. So that's something to work on there. You don't have to do it quite as fast as I was doing it there. I did it there um, just to demonstrate, really. Um, but have your other article ready, have the favourite toy, you can literally gonna put it into the dog's mouth. We already know the dog likes the article. So you're going to present it to your dog, your dog's going to put it in its mouth. Have your other article ready, 
maybe the dog sees it put your hand by the dog's mouth and say out you may have to pull a little bit and then as soon as you've got hold of the article you then swap it for the other one and you say take it allow the dog to take it and repeat and rinse and repeat no. um, but that's what you need to do lots and lots of that um, once you've got that on to a sufficient standard what you can then do is just put the article uh, maybe a foot away from you um, what should happen then the dog should then pick it up see your hand and then go towards your hand to place it into your hand but as I said that is once that exercise has been rehearsed practiced and learnt so we start from the end let's start from that part there okay just a little uh, final word just be aware if your dog's a little bit reluctant to pick up an article pick up a toy um, despite you showing a various amount of toys so it could be a tennis ball could be a tuggy toy it could be a little sort of rodent type fluffy toy um, particularly good for terriers but however if they do find themselves a little bit reluctant to actually pick the article up it could be that they're teething so always bear that in mind um, not really a great idea to teach a retrieve when your dog is in the teething stage because um, it could well put them off the exercise for the future so just be aware of your your dog's development stage and the state of your dog's teeth um, obviously if they're fired up and wanting the toy then it's the perfect time to train this exercise uh, but we'll start from the end and that's your homework um, once you get that bit we can then start looking at um, placing the article out a little bit further away and getting the dog keyed up on the article and just tossing the article maybe a foot maybe two foot and the rest of the training kicks in so um, there you go enjoy this exercise it should be a lot of fun it's not a chore it should be fun for the dog and it should be fun for you to see that the dog is actually learning the exercise and just as a lot of dog training it, it can be a slow process it's part of the uh, core of retrieve it is a little section of the retrieve but as I said we always start at the back for this it, it tends to make it a lot easier um, so don't expect miracles but just take it nice and slowly maybe little 10 minute training sessions a day once the toys once you finish your training put the toys away keep them special keep them valuable to the dog and um, you can start fresh the next day um, with a little bit of progress so well done happy training I'll just leave you now with the, the exercise so you can see it again. This is Motley and the end back chaining the retrieve. Take it out. Good. Take it out. Good. Take it out. Good. Take it out. Good. Good. Take it. Good. Take it. Good. Come on. Take it. Out. Good. Good boy. Good. Good. There you go. Easy.